has been a bittersweet day here for the WSB family. Radio talk show host Neil Bortz announced he is retiring. Today he spoke with Channel 2's Dinah Davis about why now is the right time to step away from the studio. I'm not doing this because I'm fixing to die. The undisputed king of Atlanta radio, Neil Bortz, is quick to say he's not hanging up the headphones due to poor health. Just last week, I had a colonoscopy and a pap smear, and they're both great. <laughs> After 42 years on the air, 20 at WSB, he wants to hit the road with his wife and queen, Donna. He wants a life talk jocks just don't have time for. It is me and Donna. As much as I love this job, it is just too restrictive. I can't travel. And our passion is travel. We love to go. Love him or hate him, if you live in Atlanta, you've heard of Bortz. Though he raised the blood pressure of many. For Bortz, talk radio was a love affair. This has been, wouldn't you agree, Belinda, a stress-free job for me? I don't feel stressed doing this. I'm going to miss everything associated with doing a talk radio show. More than anything else, he says he'll miss his producers. His announcement Monday left Belinda Skelton in tears. Stop it, Belinda. And though his producers say they've seen his softer side, they admit he had his moments. Oh, he had days that I felt like I needed combat pay to get through the day. And then there are days that were so much fun, I felt like I needed to give back the paycheck. Bort says he would rather end up on the wrong end of a grizzly bear than die behind a microphone. Here's your happy ending, Neil. From Midtown, Diana Davis, Channel 2 Action News. You spent time with Neil, and uh, you are entertained. I sat down with Neil Bortz just before he made that formal announcement this morning, and he opened up about making it work with wife Donna of 42 years. Here's the magic of our relationship. She has never listened to my show. Never. Come on. Serious. Ask her. You know her. She's never listened. <laughs> One time driving to work when she first met me and she was dating, she turned on the radio to see what it was I do. She got so outraged, she turned on the radio and swore she would never do that again. Uh, like I said, I are you buying that? <laughs> well, after his retirement in January, Neil still will have some, uh, you can still get some access. He's going to have something called the, the Bortz Blast. It's going to be about a 90 second daily rant. He will also be guest hosting locally and nationally, and he'll also have a blog. Coming up in just about 20 minutes, we'll hear more from Neil's replacement behind the mic, Herman Cain. Cain talks about what his biggest challenge will be and why he thinks that being compelling and irritating will help him with that new job.